What is going on guys? I'm Sarah and today we are doing a full self-driving test here in downtown Fort Worth. I know it's good on the highway, but we need to test it in the city. This is where I feel like full self-driving can make the biggest difference in most people's lives. Um, I am in my Model Y Performance. I have Hardware 3 and I'm running version 12 5.4.2. So we're going to select a location just somewhere to drive to. Um, and let the car do the rest. Cool, so we have our location, just a little parking lot. Let's get started. Now there are going to be a lot of pedestrians today because we do have a parade. Um, we have a parade later, but I think we um, should have some time before people really start getting here. But it'll be a good test. Um, I will stay ready though, just in case. Okay, this is interesting. There are two lanes, but there's a Catholic church here. Um, wow, smooth. And people park on the street. There's no parking, um, like, lane, so they just park on the street. And that was really smooth. It saw that the cars were taking over half of the lane, and it just got over. That's really good. Now, I am driving on um, Assertive on Hardware 3. It's called Assertive Hardware 4. They call it Hurry. So I am on Assertive. It's doing pretty, pretty well. Um, oh yeah, they're setting up for the event. They're shutting streets down already. So this will be kind of fun navigating through this. Okay. Probably getting confused by the, um, oh, it's probably getting confused by all of the cones out here. Maybe not confused, but oh, okay. But um, it is a little bit different. It's not your typical uh, day here in Fort Worth. I have learned that it is quick to break. As soon as it sees a yellow, it is stopping, which is good. That is good. That's how it should be, but that's not normally the case when you're driving around. Um, if you see a yellow, I feel like that's an invitation to make it through the light, but that's just me, really. Not saying you should do that. I'm just happy it uses turn signals um, because a lot of people don't. So you just don't know what's going on. Okay. Oh, perfect. Okay, so it is going to go into the parking lot. Sometimes it gets confused and it'll just go to the outside. Oh. Um, the outside of the location, like I went to Quick Trip the other day, and it didn't pull into the parking lot of Quick Trip. It just kind of stayed um, on the main street. So then I took over and went into Quick Trip. But wow! All right. Oh, oh, you know what? Oh, well, I don't. Ah, let's just try it. Okay. It is selecting a parking spot to auto park, but that's meant to go the other way. So I don't know how it's going to um, get into that, but let's try it. Yeah, it's gonna have to go up and then. Is it going back in? No way. No way! Okay. I didn't know 
it'll back into a spot. However, we're not in a parking spot. But that was cool. Um, I kind of want to do a roundabout today. I just want to see what happens. Again, stay ready. It is not perfect, but it is good. All right, we are back on the main road. We are heading to our next destination. I have two roundabouts on this route. So yeah, let's test it out. This is your typical city driving, ton of cones, construction, people, um, all of the things that you would get in the city. All right, this lane up here is coned off and you're merging into the middle lane. So smooth, that was literally perfect. Okay. Good. I like how it will check out the intersection when coming through. It doesn't just blast through it. Mm -hmm. Nice. Something I've noticed with full self-driving is that the lane changes are so smooth. Like, way better than before. Which is exciting because through an update, it went from pretty jerky transitions to really natural um, and smooth transitions, and I appreciate that. We're coming up to our first roundabout. And, all right, first roundabout. We gotta go all the way through and take, what is it, your third exit? So, let's see. Good. Good. Always pay attention. Don't trust the car because this car just came over into my lane. Wow. So smooth. My mom would have freaked out on that. But um, the good thing about full self-driving is there are no emotions. It is just logical thinking. Takes all of the emotion out of it, which I feel like the reason we have so many accidents is because of emotion. Um, people freak out way too much overreact, overcorrect, and then they crash. Or road rage. Um, I mean, there's really a whole list of reasons. So you got to stay cool and calm and collected. Otherwise, you're just a problem. And that's throughout life. Just chill out a little bit, okay? All right, speed limit is 35. Yeah, I would do 42. I would do 42 for sure. I feel like that's healthy. All right. The yellow light thing could be a little bit smoother. Could be. Um, I might make someone angry that I just stopped on that because we could have just gone through. It just turned yellow. But then again, their feelings are not really my problem. And if they get mad at me, for doing what's legal. Um, is that illegal to go through a yellow light? I don't know. If it is, sorry. But yeah, if they get mad at me, <laughs> um, you know, for stopping at a yellow, there are bigger things in life. I need to bring my grandma some batteries for her hearing aid. So I will do that in a little bit. Passing the Porsche dealership, um, they actually had a 918 Spider in there, which is kind of crazy. I went in, saw it. Because I was shopping for 918 Spiders one night, and I was like, oh my god, they have one local. Wow. This is so good. Both my coffee and the full self-driving. So good. Today I'm drinking a peppermint latte from Sun's Coffee in Fort Worth, my favorite coffee shop. Oh, yellow arrow. Here we go. Yield to traffic in front of me. All right. Nice. Really good. Wow. So good. Hey, Tesla. That is Tesla of Fort Worth. They're awesome. They always take care of me. I've never had issues with them. Um, good people. I love, I love that location. Turning in. Mm. 
They have some Dutch art going on here. Nice. Okay. Yeah. It's pretty cautious pulling into parking lots, I've noticed. Which is good, because you have to watch for people. Um, I hate seeing people fly through parking lots. Hate it. Citizens arrest. Next time I see it, I'm arresting someone. I'm not gonna lie. Full self-driving scared me in the past, but this version has been so smooth. I'm not saying it's perfect. Nothing is gonna be perfect in life. We just have to understand that. But I'm pretty happy with it. I might actually use it. I might purchase it. This is a free trial from Tesla. Also, shout out to Tesla for giving us this opportunity to try things before we just dive in. Um, that, to me, means a lot because it's like the company actually cares about your experience instead of just selling you something and being like, all right, good luck. If you like it, cool. If you don't, too bad. Um, they give us opportunities to try it before we buy it. And I greatly appreciate that. But yeah, full self-driving has gotten so good. And I'm excited to see what the future holds because this is only the beginning. Oh, you know what? While we're here, we might as well do a summon test. I'm going to walk across the parking lot and summon the vehicle to me uh, and mimic, you know, if you're at the grocery store uh, or I was at the hospital the other day visiting my grandma and I used someone to come pick me up at the front so I didn't have to walk to the parking lot. When it's dark out and you're just in a parking lot by yourself, it's not really, it's not a good time. Um, especially as a woman, I just rather not do it. Um, but I live in Texas and it would be a bad day for someone to try anything. But still, I'm not going to test it. I'm not going to push my luck. Um, I'll just have my car come and pick me up at the front and... It does. So we're going to do a summon test right now. All right, now I'm going to use the summon feature. I'm going to open the Tesla app, click summon right here. Needs to connect. Awesome. So I am parked 253 feet away. I'm going to have it come to me. I'm gonna hold this down. All right. moving we're going a little nervous I've done it before so I know that it works it's still just weird to see your car pull up and no one is driving it so yeah that's that's a little weird oh there she is We are living in the future. We are living in the future. Nice. Here she comes. Hello. Okay, it passed me a little bit, but that's okay. I can walk 15 feet. It's not perfect, but it does work. Well, I think that is it for today. I got some stuff to do. So I'm going to go visit family. It is a beautiful Sunday. It's 80 degrees. Nice breeze. 80 degrees, nice breeze. Dang, I didn't know I could do that. Anyways, if you like the video, stick around a while. I like to have fun. Uh, I'm going to be putting out some more videos. Tesla, tech, all of the fun stuff. Anyways, I am Sarah, the Simple Sarah, and thank you for watching.